The Amazon rainforest is a vast ecosystem filled with animals both big and small, some of which have not even been discovered yet. Today we're going to be looking at 10 of the most dangerous animals of this dark and mysterious forest. Make sure you stay tuned until number 1. This animal doesn't scare you, and probably nothing will. Number 10. The Common Vampire Bat Common vampire bats can be found in Mexico and in Central and South America. They live in colonies in almost completely dark places such as caves, old wells, hollow trees, and even buildings. Like most other bats, they are nocturnal and they come out of their roosts at night to search for blood. This is their only source of food. They feed on blood from sleeping cows, pigs, horses, and birds. Though uncommon, vampire bats occasionally will bite humans for blood. But bloodthirsty demons they are not. Although vampire bats are known to feed for 30 minutes on end, they never take enough blood to do harm to their prey. But what makes them so dangerous then? Their bite is not powerful. In fact, their saliva contains enzymes that numb the bite area and another enzyme to keep the blood from clotting, making sure that it feeds continuously. They also are very agile and nimble and so lightweight that their chosen victim doesn't even realize when these lightweight bats land on them. So the real problem here is the common vampire bats are known carriers of rabies, a lifelong debilitating disease that almost always leads to death. And that's only if it's not treated by getting about 10 shots to the stomach, which, let's be honest here, that just sounds unpleasant. Number 9. The Bullet Ant. Ah, the Bullet Ant. This thing has appeared on a lot of our list of the most dangerous animals on the planet, so it's no surprise that he's here now. No dangerous animal list is complete without the mention of any kind of ant, and when it comes to danger, no ant can bring higher levels of it than the Bullet Ant. Bullet ants can be found all over the Amazon rainforest, so encountering them can be pretty common. But be warned, they aren't called bullet ants for nothing. They're known as the insect with the most painful bite. People have often likened being bitten by one of these creatures to being shot by an actual bullet. They're also called 24-hour ant because the pain that it brings lasts for that long. Despite the excruciating pain that they bring, certain Amazon tribes actively seek them out. They catch the ants and weave them into large mittens made up of woven palm leaves. Adolescent males, eager to prove their manliness, wear the gloves for hours on end, all the while dancing with women, enduring the searing pain the ants give them. When they endure the ritual, the entire tribe will see them as fully grown men and warriors. Number 8. The Amazonian Giant Centipede The Amazon Giant Centipede, or Scolopendra gigantian, is among the largest centipedes of the genus Scolopendra, growing up to 12 inches or more. It can be found in various places throughout South America, especially the Amazon and the Caribbean, where it preys on a variety of animals including insects, other sizable amphibians, arthropods, reptiles, and mammals. This centipede is nervous and jumpy. It is carnivorous and very aggressive, feeding on almost everything it comes across. It is capable of overpowering not only insects or other invertebrates, but also vertebrates including frogs, lizards, mice, snakes, birds, and even bats. They have a pretty interesting way to catch bats. They climb cave walls to the ceiling and wait for a passing bat. When the prey is close enough, the centipede lunges out while holding onto the cave wall with its rear legs and grabs the bat. Then they hold and manipulate their prey with just a few legs attached to the ceiling. When attacking its prey on the ground, the centipede will use all of its body to uncoil its prey and will use all of its legs to grasp the body of its victim. On top of that, they have venom that is not only deadly to small animals, but potentially dangerous to humans as well in the right dosage. An attack on a human, normally in self-defense, can cause severe pain, chills, swelling, fever, and fatigue. Number 7. The Brazilian Wandering Spider Brazilian Wandering Spiders, also called arm spiders or banana spiders, belong to the genus Phononutria, which means murderous in Greek. And it's no wonder why. It's one of the most venomous spiders on Earth. Its bite can be deadly to humans, especially children. It's so venomous that even the Guinness Book of World Records recognize it as the world's most venomous spider. Although extremely venomous, they are quite small, only growing to about 2 inches in length. They get their name from the fact that these spiders never build nests, but rather is constantly on the move, at the same time looking for its next victim. They spend most of their day hiding under logs or in crevices and comes out to hunt at night. They eat insects, other spiders, and sometimes small amphibians, reptiles, and mice. Number 6. Pit Vipers If you think that the anaconda is the only dangerous snake in the Amazon, you better think again. The Amazon rainforest is a vast and diverse ecosystem, a perfect home for snakes of various kinds. 
Unfortunately for you and me, most of the snakes living here are pit vipers. Pit vipers get their name from the two heat-sensitive organs, or pits, located in between each eye and nostril. The snake uses these organs to detect the body heat of their warm-blooded prey, hence they are expert night hunters. There are many kinds of pit vipers in the Amazon, each one of them packing enough venom to kill a fully grown man. But the ones that you really had to keep an eye out for are the South American rattlesnakes, the very colorful eyelash vipers, so-called because they have scales above their eyes that look like eyelashes. We also have the Fur de Lance, whose unpredictable tender makes it responsible for the most snake bites in the Amazon, and the Bushmaster, which holds the title of the longest viper in the world. There's just a lot of snakes in general. Number 5. The Bull Shark There are currently 480 known shark species worldwide, but only three of them are known to attack humans. Unfortunately for people swimming in the Amazon River, one of these confirmed man-eaters is perfectly at home in the river's murky, fresh waters. Large and stout, bull sharks are about 4 meters in length. They're a very common species and also highly aggressive and unpredictable, which makes them extremely dangerous. These sharks have often been known to attack humans, and this is because they inhabit very shallow waters where humans swim, both salt water and fresh water, and also because they're pretty territorial. Also preferring murky waters to feed in, which is why it's found near the shores of the Amazon River. Bull sharks eat mostly fish, but have been known to take birds, river dolphins, and small mammals and humans, so yeah. Have fun with that swim. Number 4. The Poison Dart Frog Poison dart frogs are some of the most colorful creatures you'll find in the Amazon rainforest, but beware. Their bright coloration is actually a warning of, touch me and you're dead. Indeedy do, everybody. Poison dart frogs secrete a powerful poison through their skin, which if absorbed in large amounts can cause heart failure within minutes. The golden poison dart frog is particularly deadly, possessing enough poison to kill up to 20 humans or 10,000 mice. Where do the frogs get the poison? Scientists believe that they absorb the poison from insects, which in turn get the poison from plants. However, despite being highly toxic, poison dart frogs are sought after pets in the exotic pet trade. In captivity, these tiny amphibians are quite harmless. They lack the toxic poison that makes them so dangerous in the first place. Although no one is certain why, it's believed that they lose their poison because frogs in captivity have a different diet from those in the wild. Number 3. The Red-Bellied Piranha The Red-Bellied Piranha is preceded by its fearsome reputation. Most of us know them as fish that can tear the flesh off bones in a matter of seconds. This, however, isn't necessarily true. Red-bellied piranhas are mostly scavengers, so their diet consists mainly of dead and dying animals. They also eat insects and plants. They're most likely to be preyed upon themselves, in fact, which is why they live in groups for protection. In cases where humans have been attacked by shoals of red-bellied piranhas, the victims are usually injured or are children. Also, most of these attacks occur during the dry season when food is scarce. These attacks are rarely fatal, often only resulting in multiple cuts on hands and feet. One particularly horrific case involved a six-year-old girl who was riding in a canoe on the river along with her brothers and sisters and their grandmother. The weather was pretty bad that day, causing the canoe to tip over, flinging the hapless riders into the piranha-infested waters. The grandmother was able to save most of the children but was unable to rescue the little girl. People finally fished her out, all the flesh on both her legs were gnawed down to the bone, and she was declared dead on the spot. <sighs> Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today's photo was submitted by one of our subscribers, so if you find a photo or a video online that you want to know more about, send it on over to us and we'll do all the work for you. Heck, we might even feature it in a future video. Number 2. The Amazonian Monster There has been a long-standing legend circulating around the tribes living in the Amazon rainforest. These people report on the same thing. A giant sloth-like monster living in the forest. They call it the Mapinguari, and the mere mention of this name sends cold shivers down the spine of everyone who lives in the area. Although the description of the beast is somewhat inconsistent, scientists have conducted searches for it. In some areas, the creature is said to have two eyes, while on other accounts it only has one. Much like the Cyclops of Greek mythology. Some tell of a gaping, stinking mouth in the monster's belly through which it consumes humans unfortunate enough to cross its path. 
But all accounts agree that the creature is tall, seven feet or more when it stands on two legs, that it emits a strong, extremely disagreeable odor, and that it has thick, matted fur, which covers a carapace that makes it all but impervious to bullets and arrows. Could it be possible that this creature does exist deep in the rainforest, and the photo you are seeing right now is proof of it? Well, not quite. Although it is definitely too early to say that a creature such as the Mapping Larry does exist, this photo is definitely not it. This photo shows an animal that kind of looks like a cross between a hippo and a basking shark because, well, that's exactly what it is, actually. Good photo editing work, though. I have to hand it to whoever made this amalgamation. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only five seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next five seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number one, the green anaconda. Growing over 9 meters long and weighing over 227 kilos, the green anaconda is the world's largest snake and it lurks in the Amazon River, lying in wait for prey. Because of its size, the green anaconda is awkward on land, but in the water it can move stealthily and pretty quickly, striking at anything it knows it can overpower. This list includes, and is not limited to, jaguars, caimans, wild pigs, deer, and even humans, especially children. It coils its body around its prey and drags it into the water, suffocating it within minutes, and then swallows it whole with its large jaws. The good thing about green anacondas? Well, they don't eat often, with a big meal able to last them months. So if they're not hungry, you're safe. If they are, though, <laughs> eh, you better run. Which dangerous animal terrifies you the most? Let us know in the comment section down below. Want to watch more videos of dangerous animals from the safety of your home? Click on any of the videos on the screen. As always, everybody, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.